Hello and welcome to the new video from City Inc Express. Today we're going to be looking in Photoshop at soft proofing, what it is and what it can do for you and how it can help you with your sublimation printing. I'll open up Photoshop. I'll just open an image that I prepared earlier. There it is. Now the fact of the matter is that there are certain colours which can be displayed accurately on a computer screen which can't be achieved with normal ink sets. And uh, we've got some examples here. So generally these neon colours that you can see here, they're not going to be able to be printed as accurately as we would like. And so we want to know how that is going to turn out on our mug or our t-shirt or whatever. And we can do this through soft proofing. Alternatively, you could print it out, press it onto your mug, but then you might end up with a wasted mug or two just to see what the results would be. So in order to save a couple of quid on that, if we come up to the view menu and go to proof setup, let me click custom. We'll uh, select on this drop down menu our printer profile. In this case, it'll be the uh, Ricoh SG3110 with the City Ink Express sublimation paper and we'll choose Relative Colorimetric Rendering. I'm just going to save this now. We'll call it Sublimation. Rico SG3110 DM, just so we know what it is when we come to it in the future. And we'll click OK. Now you see that in this top corner, it's added Sublimation Rico SG3110 DM on the top there and that is because it's currently proofing the colors so if we untick the proof colors box that goes and our colors are back to normal you may have noticed a shift there when I clicked that so I want to look specifically at let's have a look at this pink bar to start with which is a color that I wouldn't normally expect to be able to reproduce on a mug accurately just because it's kind of dark but very vibrant at the same time and this pink glowing aura around it we might also have some trouble with that so I've come back you can see that we've selected the uh, sublimation Rico SG3110 DM proof if we click on proof colors here then that comes out rather dull in comparison and this green one as well I'll just switch back and keep an eye on, on that pink bar this time. There we go. So you can see the original colour is a lot more vibrant than what we'll end up with on the mug. And so what this can do for you is just when you've come up with a design and you think maybe some of the colours are a little bit outlandish or maybe it's a company logo that you're not sure how accurately that will print, then you can just come up to your view menu select the proof setup here and click proof colors and this is how it will come out on the finished product whether that's a mug or a t-shirt or whatever i do like to use the proof colors settings on pretty much every design i'm doing i do a lot of uh, children's designs so they've got big bright bold colors on there and sometimes it's just a little bit of reassurance that they will print accurately and beautifully for the uh, finished product Thank you. 